Welcome to another episode of Elixir Talks, where we discuss information which simplifies real estate and enables you to achieve your goals better. In this episode, we will discuss for a home seller how pricing plays a significant role and the various pricing strategies when listing your property on the market. For the sellers, there is a host of items that one needs to take care before putting a home on the market and making it listing ready. But nothing is more critical than the pricing strategy when you decide to sell a property. Pricing it right the first time is critical because during the opening 8 to 10 days, there is maximum exposure to the property when placed on a listing service like MLS. The realtors across the board are actively looking for new listings to work with their buyer clients. As the property becomes stale on MLS, it loses attention span as other properties take precedence and come on top when realtors and prospects conduct their searches. Buyer prospects who are actively seeking in the market are presented with newer and more recent offerings on the market. Secondly, the realtors for their buyers always work on a set price range. Therefore, setting a price higher than the fair value would essentially filter out the property in their searches for prospective buyers. As a result, you might lose the opportunity to show your property to otherwise qualified buyers for your home. For example, suppose property's fair value is around 800K and you have listed it at 830K. In this scenario, buyers qualified for a purchase up to 800K will not get an opportunity to look into your property as it was listed beyond their range and it didn't cut into their shortlisted properties. Lastly, if we price it too low, we will risk losing thousands of dollars on the table, which we could have otherwise received and our property deserved. The house would surely sell fast. However, we lost the opportunity for securing the price it deserved. For the scenarios where the property does come in range, for a realtor working with buyer, if the realtor is knowledgeable, they would know that property is priced too high. The realtors prefer to show reasonably priced options active in the inventory and pass on the one priced aggressively. The buyers too tend to move towards moderately priced option. For an owner, when it comes the time to sell a property, it is a very challenging task to review it objectively. Our intent as a seller should be to maximize the exposure of our property and sell it in a reasonable time at a good price. In addition, the pricing of the home should be conducive to maximum showings to qualified buyers. Increasing the probability of you receiving an offer from a prospective purchaser. Now let us discuss three possible pricing strategies based on the market condition and the property state one of these can be adopted. There is no right or wrong, but the one which works best for your case can be adopted. We will discuss my recommendation as well. Strategy number one is pricing it under fair market value. This works in markets where which are more inclined towards sellers, where you want to achieve maximum footfalls in the initial few days in scheduled showings and open houses and aim to have a multiple offer situation created on the day of offer presentation. Again, the inherent competition will get you to the fair value or probably even more in a seller's market like we had in COVID era where borrowing rates were extremely low. Strategy number two is pricing it just right according to the property's fair market value. This approach works for all kinds of markets, whether it is buyer inclined seller inclined or balanced. When you adopt this strategy, you get exposure of the property to qualified buyers and your value proposition is strong and you have the upper hand in negotiations as you have priced it already within reason. Your realtor would be required to do a bit of work and research to prepare a comprehensive CMA, comparative market analysis. This exercise is to determine 
fair market value. The CMA should be very detailed and objectively consider all the adjustments to the subject property from the comparables which have sold in the community in last 60 to 90 days. Strategy number three is pricing it over fair value. When you aggressively price your property when put into the market, the downside is that you lose qualified buyers and risk the ones who come to see with price point if they have a skilled realtor or a knowledgeable realtor working with them. This approach can be adopted when the time is on your side and you are not in a rush. Plus of this strategy is that you will have upper hand in negotiation as the price has an inbuilt buffer for an interested buyer. Generally, this strategy would work for wow factor properties where the property has an abundance of upgrades from the outside curb to the inside elements and finishes of the property. Everything is top notch and glittering. Such property can attract interested buyers willing to pay the premium for the updates and finishes. One downside of this listing strategy beyond fair value is that once the property goes stale with higher days on the market, it will sell even below the fair market value, which we could have easily gotten in the first place. Strategy number two is the one I recommend to reach your goals fast and on to packing your bags and preparing for the next big move. This pricing strategy of pitching the property at the correct market value gets us the qualified and right interested buyer for a smooth selling experience and getting the price the property deserves. Thanks for watching and if you like this episode, subscribe for more such content and share with your friends who might be looking to sell real estate and find these pricing basics helpful. Stay positive and I will see you soon. Bye.